Hello students, in the last video session we had seen what is a double linked list and we also saw how we can do an insertion at the beginning. We also saw how we can display a double linked list. Right. So today is in this video session let us see how we can insert a node at the existing um, the double link list insert at the end okay so let us see how we can insert at the end now this was a class that i had declared double ln uh, index scope resolution operator insert at int value so value is something that you are going to accept from the user as to what you want to insert and you are going to call this function from the main function by passing this as the parameter okay now here we have taken one pointer star uh, we have taken a pointer called current okay and then, as we saw in the last video session, we are creating a new node called as temp. I am going to allocate memory by using the new keyword, new operator. Temp of data is value, temp of previous is null, temp of next is null. So, I am going to keep my node ready. Okay, this is the new node that I want to insert. Temp of data is value. That means, whatever value I am accepting, I am putting it in the data part. Temp of previous and next both are null. So, temp of previous is null. Next also is not. So, my node as such is now ready. Okay. Now, I have to insert this node at the end. Now, before I insert, any insertion that we do, so far we have seen, whenever we want to insert, we have to first check whether the list is empty or not. If the list is empty, then this will become the, the only node in the list. Right. How do we check for empty? We are going to check if head is equal to null. What is head? Head is a pointer which is going to keep the address store the address of the first node. So, if the list is empty, head is obviously pointing to null. So, if head is null, then what will happen? Head is equal to 10. That means, this will become the only node and head is going to point to that. That's all. So, if head is, if the list is empty, the node that we are going to insert is going to be the only node. Else, else means what? List is not empty. So, if list is not empty, what does that mean? That means I have some elements in the list. Okay. So, I have some elements. Let me take this example. I have some elements in the list. This is a list that is already existing. I have three nodes 15, 18, and 20. I want to insert this temp 23 at the, it should come here, last node. This is my temp now. I have to insert it here. So, what are the changes that I have to make now? If you look here, this is a double link list. So, two links you have to always change. What changes do we have to make? This cannot be null anymore. Next of 20 cannot be null. Next of 20, that is this link. Where it should point? It should point to 10. Correct? This next of 20 should point to 10. Similarly, 10 has a previous and next both. Previous of 10 also can't be null anymore. We had initially made it as null because that was the only node. Now, previous of 10 should point where? It should point to this node 20. These are the changes that we have to make. Of course, next of 10 can be null still because that is the last node that we are going to insert. So, this, these are the two important changes that you have to make. Your next link of 20, which was null, cannot be null anymore because it has to point to 23. Similarly, previous of 10 cannot be null anymore because it has to point to 20. Now, to do this, I have to somehow try to access this node 20 because I have to come up to 20 to know what is happening, mean, to do these changes. Well, how will I come up to there? I will make use of, a, that is where I will make use of this pointer called as current. Now, I am going to initialize current is equal to head. Look at this. I am going to say current is equal to head. That means, I am initializing current with head. So, current 15 is mine now. Current is pointing at 15. Next. Why? I have to come up to this, is it not? Because I need to make these changes. How do I do check that? I go on checking whether the next link is going to be null or not. Because we know that for the last node, the next link is going to be null. So, I will check why current of next is not equal to null. Current is equal to current of next. That means, current is currently now here, 15. This current of next, is it null? It's not null because it is pointing to the next element. So, this condition is satisfied. So, what I will do? Current is equal to current of next. So, next now current will become this one. 
This will not be the current anymore. Okay, 18 will become the current. Again, I will go back to the while. While current of next is not equal to null. Is current of next equal to null? No, it is pointing to 20. So, condition is satisfied. So, I will come here. Current is equal to current of next. So, now current will become, 20 will become, this node will become current. This will not be current anymore. Again, I will go back. Current of next is not equal to null. It is equal to null. Before you make these changes, what was there? 20 was last node. It was null. So, condition is not satisfied. So, I will not come at this part. I will come out of the while loop. After I come out of the while loop, what should I do? Next of, what did we say? Next of this 20 should point to 10. How do I access this uh, 20? That is nothing but my current. So, I can always write current of next is equal to 10. That is what we have written. Current of next is equal to 10. This is a double linking. So, always you should think of two links. Then, temp of previous cannot be null anymore. It has to come uh, point to 20. So, temp of previous, how do I point to 20? It is nothing but current. That is what we have done. Temp of previous is equal to current. Next, what is temp of next? That can still be null because that is a last one. So, temp of next is equal to null. This temp of next is equal to null, you have written it here itself. Okay. You actually need not write this. You can even comment this. It's still, it is right. If you write also no issues. Okay, so temp of next will be null. That will remain null. Whereas this previous of temp will not be null anymore. It has to point to the previous node. Similarly, next of 20 will not be null anymore. It has to point to the next node. This is how you try to insert at the end. So we first check whether the, whether the list is empty. So if the list is empty, that node itself will become the first node. If the list is not empty, then we have seen how we can insert towards the end. Okay. So, next we will see how we can insert at a specific point. We have seen insertion at the beginning. We have seen insertion at the end. We also saw how to display. Now, next let us see how we can insert at any specific point. What are the conditions we have to consider? So, now let us see how we can insert after a specific node. If you observe here, we are accepting here two parameters. One is value and one is item. What is value? Value is what you want to insert. Item is after which node you want to insert. This both the things you have to accept. And then call this function with both these values as parameters. Alright. Now let us assume what I want to insert is 23. And then we will see what can be item. I will take case by case. What we have done? We have taken one node. Temp, temp is our new node as usual. We have allocated memory. Temp of data is 23. Temp of previous is null, next is null. So, my node is ready. Okay. Now, assume that I have a, I want to enter after 28. So where is 28? 28 is on the last location. Okay. So, last means it is same as, what to say? Uh, it is same as uh, inserting at the end. Is it not? If I say it, my item is 28, if I say it, that means after 28, I want to insert 23. Correct? So, which is very much same as what? Same as inserting at the end. Anyway, let us see. So, node, we have taken one pointer current. So, I will try to traverse. Current is equal to head. So, I have initialized current as the first pointer. While current of next is not equal to null and current of data is not equal to item. I have to go on checking whether we have arrived at the last node. That is current of next is not equal to null. And current of data is not equal to item. What is my item? Item is 28. So, I, I want to insert after 28. So, I have to go on checking whether it is last node. Current of next is not equal to null, not equal to null. And current of data is not equal to item. 15. 15 is not equal to 23. So, then what I do? Current is equal to current of next. So, I will move to the next one. So, I will come here. Current Again, I will go back. Current of next is not equal to null. It is not equal to null. Current of data is what? 18. 18 is not equal to 28. So, this condition is also satisfied. Both should be satisfied because it is and. Then what I do? Current is equal to current of next. So, I will go again here. So, like that, I will go on doing. Now, when I come out of this while loop, if I come out, 
there can be two possibilities. Either both these conditions are not satisfied. That is, I have reached current of next is equal to null and current of data is equal to item, I will come out. Or this condition may not be satisfied, current of next becomes equal to null, I have reached the last node, but item is not found, I can come out. So, like that, there are different possibilities when I come out of this while loop. Why I have come out is what we have to every time check. Now, suppose, suppose the condition is not satisfied. I will come out of the while loop I said. What are the possibilities? First possibility is what? If current of next, I could have come out because current of next is equal to null. The is equal to null means this condition is not satisfied. Correct, so I will come out of the loop. And both could not be satisfied, I would have come out. And current of data is equal to item. Probably this could be the case why we came out of the while loop. Possibility. One of the possibilities is this. Both are not satisfied. Both are not satisfied means I am again checking. If that is a condition. That means what? If current of next is equal to null. That means we have arrived at the last node. And current of data is equal to item. What is current? This is current. What is current of data? 28. What is item? 28. Both are same. So that means after 28 now I want to insert my 23. It is very similar to what we did for insertion at the end. So that time what we did? This is the current now. Current of next should go to temp. Temp of previous should come to current. That's all. Same thing what we did in the last insertion at the end. So what do I write? Current of next is equal to temp. Then temp of previous will be pointing to current. Then temp of next will be null because it is a last one. So this is one possible condition. When I come out of the loop, what am I checking here? I am checking why I came out of the loop. What is the condition? Possibilities. Both could not have been satisfied. That's why I would have come out. So that is, a, that is what I am checking here. Now, next condition let us see. Next what is the possibility? So we wrote an if there. So let me write on here else. Continuation of that if, okay. Else. What is the next possibility? Current of next is equal to null. That means we have reached the last node and but data need not be equal to item. Current of data is not equal to item. Even in this case, you will come out of the value. So, if this is the case, then what is that indicates? You have reached the last node, but data, none of the data is matching with the item. That means what? Your element is not or the item is not found in the list. So, we have to write C out element not found. Okay? That is one possibility. Else, else one more possibility is what? You are somewhere you want to insert, let us say, after 20. Then what you have to do? That is the last possibility. How do I write that? I will take an else for this also. Okay. One more condition that we have to check is else. Now, assume that item is 20. That means after 20, I want to insert this 23. So, what all changes you should make? This next of 20 should go to 10. Previous of 23 should come to again this 20. Alright. Then next of 10 should come to current. Previous of this should go. That is what the changes you have to make. So, temp of previous, temp of previous will come to current.
temp of next will become current of next. Okay, temp of previous will come here. All right, temp of next will come where? It will come to this one. How do you access this node? It is nothing but current of next. Current of next will become temp. Current of next, where it will point? Here, this one. It should point to temp. So, for every node, you have to identify two links. Previous also, you should be able to put. Next also, you should be able to do. So, these are the conditions that we have checked for insertion at a specific node. So, the first thing that we checked is, if you are given the last element, then that part becomes same as insertion at the end. The second condition is, you have arrived at the last element, but your item is not matching at all with any of the data. That means, item is not found, you cannot insert. The last condition is uh, everything is proper. You have entered some item after which you want to insert. So then I will write. You have to take care of temp of previous, temp of next. Because every node will have two links, previous as well as next. And then current of next should again point back to temp. So this is how you try to insert at the at a specific node. So we have done with insertion at the beginning, end, insertion at a specific node, and then display. Next we will see. In the next video session, we will see how to delete, how to delete in the beginning, delete at the end and delete a specific note. I will see you all in the next session. Thank you.